so i like to say a few things the the real truth of human interest human life it's a very important thing that i like to share now what i felt from last few days what i've really felt i like to share those experiences thing is that i'll just say something about the belief system belief system belief system is one of the most the strongest impact on human life belief system is such a tremendous powerful thing let me turn off that one which make the persons more active more hyperactive and a more dedicated more influential more activated toward doing any certain works this one i'm not saying from reading any books or any kind of video it is from a self experience the thing what i'm sharing here it is up by best on my self experience what i feel really now best an example i like to draw some attention on best on it how why do i started this statement that belief system is one of the most powerful weapon i can say the most powerful backbones of humans uh, activities or humans life monopolies well, how it is so and i also uh, like to draw some attention that be, uh, that belief systems uh, plays a major role in building any habit or any attitudes or you can say also you can reverse the case also the attitude and behavior of persons give have some impact on formation of the belief on formation of the belief system of the human being belief systems are very tight belief systems uh, makes the, that's stop from doing any evil, evil things belief systems it stops us from doing any evil things it really stops us it's it's bring a hindrance hindrance in our life that restricts ya yeah, don't do that ya yeah, ravi ya yeah, this puja whatever don't do this task you will feel some restriction within you you will feel some kind of uh, some kind of obsession some kind of uh, stuck some kind of barrier in your life you can feel that so this is obsession this restrictions that's how you feel this feel is by the belief systems so it stops us from doing any kind of evil practices now suppose uh, as a person which belong from a very good uh, family and uh, so was very well spiritual as well as religious family if if he is indulged or he is forced to drink wine whatever or smoked so firstly a kind of avoidance a kind of uh, restriction will come from within that ah don't take it it's a very it's very bad it's very bad it's very bad don't take it so your family is not involved so you do not get such kind of parenting you do not get such kind of perverish or the or the parenting whatever i am saying you don't get such kind of environment if it involves a very bad thing your mind your soul your antar atma will indulge you or make you not to do this task and automatically hinder you that uh, restrict the doing that particular things that is not good not smoke not to smoke or do not to take wine so there is what how it comes it comes from belief systems what we believe we are bound to follow that case i have found few families here i have found means few ladies and they really wake up early morning and uh, they won't take brush also then do brush but they will take bath and after bathing they will be going uh, wandering about the colony they will pluck the flowers arrange for the puja and worshiping the lord so this this become the, uh, the, uh, the, the habitual activities become a daily monopoly of the life i have seen even they fall sick also without bathing they won't come out or won't do any task they consider themselves apavitra unholy if they do not take bath so how it feels how it begins it begins due to the belief systems what they have carried out throughout the lifetime throughout the lifetime what they have believe how they have trained themselves how they have uh, formed their subconscious mind and they are bound to believe that they are bound to believe that that this is not good this is bad this is bad this is good how they can decide this thing they have trained such a way their mind is bound to follow that that activities what they are doing now for example when you go to toilets 
Now many of this, uh, obviously, we, we don't come by rubbing our water, cleaning our ash. Obviously, why so? Why don't you come without cleaning your ash? You do not feel comfort. You do not feel easy. You do not feel that kind of, uh, uh, kind of free or kind of clean eggs. You feel unhygienic, uncomfort throughout the day. Why so? Why so? Because the belief systems indulge you to not to, to not to go without washing your ash. That's what I like to mention. There's something else I like to draw some attention on based on better understanding. And actually this belief repeated the certain work continuously without any motivations, without any kind of feedbacks, or without any reward operations, we get some kind of little diff, uh, affection, we get some kind of uh, positive vibes in the environment, how this belief system is actually formed. So there is a various way how we can build the belief systems. First of all, parenting. Since the childhood, when the baby is taken care, and he or she is being given advice on various impact of life, so that don't do this, don't do that, it is bad. So a person gets a strong impact from the basis also. How he has been parented since from the beginning of his childhood. How he has been given advice. Bhut, bhut, bhut. Majwa, majwa, majwa ape. Na, hapu, hapu, hapu. We make uh, the baby scared. And throughout the lifetime, that's impression imprinted in the brain. That he gets scared of when they see this thing. Even yet, I don't get confident to catch a frog. Why? But I have seen so small small boys, they catch a frog, they catch a snake, they do not feel the scared. They leech. But from the beginning, we have been trained. Uh, we, have been, we have been engineered like that. Internally, we have engineered like that. That it is bad thing, it will make you die, it will make you scared. The scary part is automatically redesign your brain. That's what I like to say that uh, we have formed how we have been trained. We believe. We believe something that we how we are trained from the beginning of our childhoods. That's what I like to say. There's something more I like to say that. So how does the belief for habits forms? Now the second point comes for the formation of uh, belief is actually by repeating certain works also become a belief systems. When you go on um, uh, believing that now smoking is bad, smoking is bad, smoking is bad, smoking is bad. So repeated contemplations or contemplations or kind of consistent repetition in the brain makes you to believe certain things. Now, for example, what shall I give other example? Consider me. I have not ever smoked in my life. But uh, what happens is that a repeated contemplations come in the mind and he repeated feedbacks. Now it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. And my, my mind totally believes. Uh, it's kind of a total uh, thing that I get uh, impressed on that it is bad. My body, my soul, everything's restricted on this thing. Everything's do not make me, it's a favorable thing for my life, on, for my body. I feel very guilty, I feel very bad to if someone is smoking near me, no? I cannot resist that, this, that kind of smoke. I feel so energy. my body is intolerable that, to that kind of external environments. I cannot able to breathe. That's what kind of, that is what kind of uh, uncomfortness that I feel. Really, it's my personal, it's my personal, uh, it is my personal experience what I like to share here. This is what I like to mention here. So there's many things I like to say and also uh, there is one more thing for the uh, belief system is the habit. Something we do on the regular basis, it also creates a strong impressions in our belief systems. Suppose brushing, when you wake up you do brush your teeth, but a child don't like to brush. You have to force them, no, you have to clean your teeth, no, 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 no. So by the force of the parents, the child the child is indulged to brush his or her teeth. But as an adult, now you people, those who are grown up child, 10, uh, 20, 25 years old, whatever is a grown up child, they cannot uh, talk to anyone or they cannot start their morning activities without being brushing their teeth. Why so? Because they are being trained like that. They have been engineered like that. They feel like that, no. With the brushing, I don't feel comfort. They have trained themselves in a subconscious level that they won't feel uh, better, they won't feel that excited, they don't want to feel they can start, they can't start any morning events. Why so? Because they have trained like that. They have been engineered like that. No. no, we have to feel fresh 
and for brushing brushing is compulsory otherwise smells comes out because your brain don't know the function if you do not brush what may happen with your life what may happen with your body you will feel uncomfort your mouth will smell you cannot talk in front of people you feel you feel like the, your personality is getting denied or is de de denied you feel like low in society even the people may kind of give you a bad uh, bad a compliment to you now you are smelly persons your mild the smile it smells very bad so you try to brush your beds you feel inside it and ignorance in the society and these type of thoughts in our brains make us make us do that work permanently basis make us do that work on a regular basis we're consistent to do that work why because we think about the external factors and these external factors make us to believe make us to put a sense and this belief indulge us to do work we are bound to take the actions for the basis of that belief systems i hope you can feel what i like to mean through these sentences what i feel is a personal belief what i think no? so believe is something now many families you see they the the life is totally based on puja part wake up early morning they will plant the flowers and all they, yeah this is very good God is all about motivations. It really gives us inspiration as well as it gives a strong boost in our life. We get a new pathway of the life because we humans cannot live our life idly. Some are busy with their girlfriends. Some are busy with the family. Some are busy running after money. Some are with a job. Some are with their own satisfactions. They are talking with someone. Someone's with the puja part. You can see the pope, the pandit, and all. They totally engage life in and worshiping the Lord. They think that life is best on it. The life is. Why we get life? We get life for the worshiping God. They feel like that. They have engineered like that. So uh, there's few more things that I like to think. I like to state now. Now, for example, there's many people, yeah, who like to play harmonium because they like this thing. It's imprinted imprinted in his brain that I like this thing. I like this thing. I like this thing. So repetition. They like the music of the harmoniums, even me. So this is what happening in our life that we create our way, how we think. That is say what we think about, we become. That is the actual truth. Louis Watt, who said this word, this sentence is very nice one. I recently read about this thing. So what we think about, we become. That is actually perfect thing. Actually, the most obvious thing I like to mention. So there is more thing I like to say because I feel a little shy little. make us to take any uninterrupted and a serious action interactive actions this is what I believe <laughs> observing the people around us the monopoly of various things I have expressed these few words so kind of things they like to share there's many things that I like to share yeah so uh, what what really make us feel this thing what make us really happy we believe something that if you worship lord will be blessed this belief if you go i will respect younger or elder will get respect it is obvious truth and this is a belief imprinted in our brain even though if i study hard if i study because Earlier, I don't, uh, I don't uh, have attention toward my actions. I do the things randomly. But recently, I come to know that if you do not take any action at a proper time, means you won't, you won't get that fruitful result. Taking action at the proper time will give the more effective result in your life. This is the reality. Means I, don't know, I know it earlier from earlier. But thing is that I do not apply in a practical life. And I do not have a trust. Means I don't have that... Uh, kind of believe on the statements what I really formulated but when I really applied in my practical life I got to find various facts I got to find the real roots yeah and it gets get me imprinted so far since since my school time I try to improve my handwriting 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 when I see someone's having very good handwritings I'm being a little jealous I feel a little awkward now are such they, these students, these, uh, these teachers, they, my, my brother's teacher, they have such good handwriting. When I write in front of them, I feel really so neglected. I feel so sorry and kind of pity for me, you know, that are I do try it. Means I do thought many a time to improve my handwriting. But thing is that I do not apply it. 
I do not apply in a practical life. That to have something achievable, you have to take an action for that. With that actions, action also have certain different stage. Action also has various steps in life. But thing is, the action should be such that it should be a rewarding what? It should be a promoting one. It should be a uh, changing as well as improving one. Without having such kind of improvement on a daily basis, you can see any change. So this is what I believe. You have a regular practice. Regular intention in your brain that no, I have to do the sadhwar. I have to be, I have to be, make my handwriting better, more better. I have to improve it. So this is what I take an intention. I'm I'm trying to improve my handwriting now because many people I see they have good good handwritings, but I do not have that. So let's try. And obviously that is totally imprinted in my brain. That this this belief is already within me that if I really work hard. If I really practice several times day and night, and obviously one day I will be having very good handwriting, and I like to show in the same board behind me. That is what I really feel. So there is one more belief that I like that human forgets this all total, totally improvement, this repetition, these feelings really get imprinted in my body, in my soul, in my blood. That human will forget. There's one more thought proper from my side. I make this one, and there's one more thought I make last two years back. The way you train your brain, that train brain make you a perfect man. There's also one more thought, and I what I believe now, because that belief has been formed in my body. Human forgets, human forgets, human forgets. Such thought repetitions get imprinted in brains, and it's let me take it for actions in my life. As much as you practice, more better you will be. More mastery. If you want to achieve the mastery on any certain things. Frequent practice, dedications, motivations toward that work will really help you out to take certain actions. What I felt. There's many things to share about, but I, I, I throughout the day I think so many things, but I don't feel like to make video and upload in the web um, in my YouTube. I feel a little awkward now. Nah, what type of rubbish thing that I gone is provoking. But today I thought no. Because I usually make videos. I'm free of, free of making videos. I make regular videos. Thing is that I upload it but in a private. Nobody can see that. Only I can see. The, how I pass my time and all. And all. I, 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 I like to share my lifestyle. All the thing. This is what I like to say. Because there is more thing I like to elaborate topic in the next class. I mean in the next sessions and all. Thank you.